stickers, I Mick, you've asked for it. It's finally here. We've got our hands on the Cooler Master NR200P and we're going to do a build with it today. But before we do that, we're going to just tear it down a little bit, have a little bit of a look at how everything fits and then we're going to do a build. So I think it's time to roll that intro. Let's do it. All right, ladies and gents, let's take a bit of a look at this brand new case from Cooler Master. It is uh, a actual budget focused ITX case. They're going for around 60 US dollars. There are two, con well, there's technically four configurations with this case. There's the NR200, which is the version that comes without a TG panel, and the NR200P, which is exactly the same case, except it comes with the TG panel. And as you probably saw from the intro, ours is the P version, it comes with the TG panel. Uh, however, I'm not sure if I'm going to be using it in this build yet. We're going to be doing a couple builds with this because I think it's pretty interesting and there's a lot of different options to do stuff with this. But first of all, we need to open it. The great thing about this case that I, I know about it already because uh, we've known about this case for quite a while is it is completely toolless when it comes to removing panels. So just like that, you can remove the panel. It's got uh, inside filters as well. It's also got the same panel on the back, which is actually quite nice too. It's similar to the design of the N-Case M1. The difference between this and the N-Case, this is an 18 liter case, so it is slightly bigger, but that's not actually a problem because you can fit more in this case than an N case. It's uh, quite nice because you've got a few different internal layouts you can go with. You can go with a vertical GPU, you can go with a regular or oriented GPU, which is for better airflow anyway. I'm not sure which way we're gonna do it yet. You can do uh, 280 mil AIO max, you can do uh, air cooling, you can do custom loop in this. There's a lot of different options with this case. Every panel basically removes completely toolless. Look at that, you just pop them off and you're good to go. Even the bottom pops off too, but uh, yeah, top pops off quite easily. Just two thumbs on the top, pop the top off. You can get access to the case from any side. We should be able to remove the bottom of the case as well. So look at that. It is now a complete skeleton and you can get access to every single part of the case. So if you're doing a custom loop or something like a case mod or something, you can literally access any part of the case. I think this is a pretty excellently laid out case. Uh, like I said, I've known about this case for quite a while, obviously with the way that things go when you, you're in this kind of thing, you can't talk about these things. But yes, we can say now that we do have known about this case for how long now, Claire? A year, something like that. <laughs> Probably about a year. And that's just how this stuff goes. Uh, there is a bracket here that holds some radiators. So you can go up to 280 with this. There's two screws holding it in. Most of this stuff is toolless except this. Even the installing of the fans in the top of the case that you can do is toolless too. But we'll just pull this bracket out quickly. Out comes the radiator mounting bracket or a fan mount if that's what you wanted to do with it. And now we can pull out the accessory box. So the NR200P and the 200 actually comes with this uh, accessory box. So we'll take a quick look at what's inside. There are two fans. These are both PWM fans. Uh, they come with fan guards as well, which is super nice. These are the new Sickle Flow fans. They have these little, let's call them little extrusions. They're like screws, but they toollessly mount to the top of the case without having to use any screws, which is quite a nice little addition. They're typically quieter from experience, and like I mentioned, both of them also have this toolless way of installing them in the top. There's just rubber grommets that sit in the top panel, and they slot straight in. I really like this. I wish uh, we would see this a bit more with cases, and I think it just makes it, it quicker to install stuff. Obviously, if you're installing a radiator or something with it actually bearing the load of the radiator's weight, probably not an excellent idea, but just for fans, I think it's a pretty nice little way of doing it. Standard stuff like you'll find with a normal case, screws, grommets, all that jazz, uh, tweezers. <laughs> and last but not least, something that you might not find with some ITX cases is a riser cable for the different orientation of installing a GPU. Now, this is where it gets a little bit interesting and uh, I don't think I've seen anyone test this. Whether or not this works with PCIe Gen 4 cards, 
I'm talking about like the 5600 XT, the 5700 XT and those kind of cards. I don't know. I'm not going to be testing this in this video. I will let you guys know at a later date. I'll update the description or add a pinned comment when I actually get around to testing it. But for now, we're going to be using this card. The Gigabyte Gaming OC 2080 Ti. I figured, you know what? It's a, it's a big GPU. It's uh, up there with for performance. And it is a GPU that we can quite easily fit in this case. So we can install it vertically. It does have vertical mounting and we can install it in the normal orientation as well. Maximum GPU support length while I'm on the topic of that is 330 millimeters, which there's not many cars that exceed that. So almost anything's gonna fit in here. I would go as far as saying that most GPUs you're looking at are probably gonna fit in some type of orientation in this case. Uh, don't take my word for it. But yeah, the specs are all available on Cooler Master's website with the data sheet. So I'm not really gonna go into that. I'll put a link to the data sheet in the description if you wanna see all that information. Basically, everything that I'm talking about, you can find on Google quite easily. The only reason why I talk about this stuff in these videos is because uh, people forgot how to use Google over the last few years. <laughs> and that's kind of what I'm here for. I'm, I'm here to help you. Now let's get on to power supply support because this is a big thing or a little thing in the small form factor cases. So this will only take SFX and SFX L power supplies. You can, this is a bracket inside that allows you to mount that. You can actually remove this bracket from its original position and you can move it to hang off the front of the case as well, which is a nice little addition. However, if you're doing a vertical GPU, uh, and your water cooling, probably not the best way to mount it. And while we've got this all apart still, I might as well just quickly have a chat about some other little nuances with the case too. Uh, if you are doing a regular mounted GPU, so horizontally mounted, you can actually mount 92 mil fans to the back, which is quite nice as well. Whether or not you want to do that, it's uh, pretty, it's up to you. I think out of all ITX cases, I think this is one of the, uh, more interesting ones when it comes to the amount of stuff you can mount in here. You can do seven fans in total, which is a lot <laughs> for a small case like this. I mean, there's a lot of options and that's kind of the point of it. It's really supposed to be a case that you can expand over time, right? But I can't say how much I like it until we build with it because I'm still not sure yet. So let's do a build. Are you guys ready?
right, ladies and gents, it's uh, your favorite part of the video. It's time to visit our friends over at Peel Corp. We're gonna do a little bit of a peel and we have a little bit of an announcement to make. So let's uh, do this peel. Oh, this is sounding very nice. Oh, and yes, we did end up going TG for this. Nice and slow. Very nice. Okay, by the time this video goes live, hopefully we will have Peel Corp merch available on our store. There's a link to our merch store in the description in all the videos. So if you wanna go and check it out, check it out. I'm pretty sure, is it gonna be ready in time, Claire? I hope so. Okay, well yeah, Peel Corp merch. It's really cool. It's uh, not like regular YouTuber merch. It's cool. I like it, it looks really cool. Anyway, uh, cinematic mode, let's do it. gents i hope you enjoyed our build in the brand new cooler master nr200p and i have to mention this because people just don't get it this video is not sponsored by cooler master basically all they did was they sent this case across and they sent this power supply across and yeah this is their new v850 sfx it's an 80 plus gold power supply and this is the power supply we use for this build it is actually Interesting that they make an 850 watt SFX power supply now. I have been bugging Cooler Master for years to make these SFX power supplies and it seems like someone was listening. So now we have Cooler Master SFX power supplies, which is pretty cool. Anyway, the build turned out a lot nicer than I thought it was gonna turn out. Uh, thermals are actually not too bad. I'll put those up on the screen right now so you can take a little bit of a look. And as you can see, they're actually a lot better than expected. The CPU that we used is the 10700K. It's a hot CPU and with a 240mm AIO actually did a lot better than I expected as well. The GPU did run a little bit hot as, as expected and that's kind of the reason why I put it in this orientation to see how it would go being kind of up against the glass. There is about a single slot distance between the, the fans of the GPU and the glass. So it's not actually too bad, but if you were to be doing this type of build with uh, this orientation, I would possibly, well, I would definitely recommend using the other side panel or not the glass. The only reason why I use the glass is for aesthetic purposes only. And I was curious to see whether or not it would actually run as hot as I expected. And yeah, it runs hot with that orientation, but overall the system temperature is not too bad. I'll just quickly gloss over some of the other parts that we use for this build. We use the Z490i Aorus Ultra for the motherboard. Obviously, like I mentioned, the 10700K from Intel, it's the i7, it's the new 10th gen CPU. We use T4 Sixtreme ARGB. We use 16 gigs of that, it's their new memory. It's at 3600 megahertz. We use two Seagate Fire CUDA 520s, uh, they're PCIe Gen 4 NVMe M.2s, but I wanted to use them to basically see what it would be like for access on the back side of the case to get access if you wanted to add a second MDMA drive. And it turns out that it is actually pretty good for rear access with the way that they've laid it out and they've done the motherboard cutout on the motherboard tray. Cooler Master actually listened to what 
people had for feedback with other ITX cases they've released. They looked at what the industry was doing and then they said, hey, let's make it a little bit bigger than any other small form factor cases to accommodate other layouts and they executed. And this case is absolutely bloody brilliant. Uh, they absolutely nailed it in my opinion. Everything that I like in these small cases, they did. They gave us multiple ways to mount a GPU. They included a riser cable, which was nice as well. You can move the power supply mounting. I don't care if it's, if it's SFX only or SFXL only. I prefer that in these small systems. 18 liters isn't on the huge side for this. It's uh, smaller in size than the Fantex, or sorry, the Metallic Gear Neo Mini that we checked out a little while ago. I think this is gonna be my go-to ITX case. It is absolutely bloody brilliant and they nailed it. Was a bit skeptical at first as I am with most cases that we get through. And again, they really did listen. The fact that there's toolless mounting for the top fans is excellent. They use uh, those pegs like they would use for SSDs like the, the Cooler Master does on their cases. The rear access, like I mentioned, is really good. Cable management is decent enough. I mean, you can't ask a lot with small form factor cases as it is, but I think they've done a good job. They've included Velcro straps to tie everything down. Yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty good. And I'm gonna do another build with this very soon as well because I wanna do it in a different orientation with an air cooler and test that too. But like I mentioned, I'm gonna say this again and I'll keep saying it. This case is absolutely bloody brilliant. They nailed it. Simple as that. What do you reckon, Claire? Yeah. It's, it's, it's good. I, I, I don't have much to say. And every review that's out as well basically says the exact same thing. You can't argue with that. It is brilliant. They nailed it. They listened to what we wanted and they, they delivered. And I'm gonna say this again. Last year's H100 uh, ITX case was fairly average. It's a, a, a very uh, odd niche retooling of an old case, but this, ladies and gents, is something brand new that we haven't seen Cooler Master do before, and bravo. That's all I'm gonna say about it. And anyways, guys, if you like the music you heard here, I make all the music. There's, uh, I think today's music is available on I think these ones are available on Spotify and Apple Music. I don't remember what songs that we actually ended up picking for this video, maybe one or the other. Other than that, it's gonna be on Patreon. If you're interested in the past, there's a PC part picker list down below in the description. It'll give you a rough estimate of the price that everything costs in this build. And yeah, um, yeah, could work, Cooler Master. Anyway, uh, if you liked it, like, if you hated it, you can hit this dislike button twice. Once again, thank you so very much for watching. I'm your boy Nick with Gear Seekers. You peak. We seek, and I just want to reiterate, this video is not sponsored, nothing like that. They sent us the case like they do with all of these cases and nailed it. Nailed it, nailed it, nailed it. I like it. I don't have much more to say. They, they did a good thing. I really, I'm really impressed. And uh, it's not very often that I will see something that will impress me this much, but this thing is good. And I, I've got a few more ideas of things I want to do with it. Uh, be patient though, because we have a lot of other stuff to get through, but I want to do a soft line custom loop in this thing because I think we can make it fit easy because it does have cutouts and holes and mounting holes for D5 pumps and DDC pumps up the front. So we could do that pretty easily. I want to do an air cool build with like max out the fans and use an air cooler. And then I think I want to build a personal rig. So I want to replace one of the rigs we already have. And I want to replace it with this case because yeah, it's super interesting. Anyways, thanks for watching.